this is the fourth part um, of the material that we're working through currently. Um, this section has got to do with uh, fractional atomic coordinates and projection. Well, what exactly are these fractional atomic coordinates? Fractional atomic coordinates, they describe the position of atoms in the unit cell, and it's generally expressed as a fraction of the length of the side of the unit cell. So, for example, we can have an atom that's positioned at the origin, um, at position 0, 0, 0. Now, remember, I've explained to you before that we, you are used to using a Cartesian uh, set of coordinates, which is x, y, and z. But for unit cells, we often use the crystallographic uh, coordinate system, which implies that the x-axis is labeled A, the y-axis is labeled B, and the c-axis is labeled Z. Okay, so we need to know where to position certain atoms, and the crystallographic coordinate system uh, and crystallographic axes are way more easier to understand and to use. So, in a sense, we're going to learn how to um, draw fractional coordinates, uh, represent them, and also look at different projections. Okay, so, for example, with fractional coordinates, I may want to know what is the position of this particular atom, okay, or even the one in the center. Now, we know that this is a body-centered cubic structure that you can see, and we know that this this atom here sits on a special position, which I'll explain uh, shortly. Um, now, other times we want to show a specific view down a certain uh, unit cell axis. This is called a projection. Okay, so a projection is the view that we look down um, the unit cell uh, axis, one of them, any one of them, it doesn't matter which one. In a cubic structure, it doesn't matter which one we look down, because remember that each of the sides of a cube are all the same length. So um, we can pick any one of the axes to look down, and it will be identical for the other two axes. Okay, so with a projection, we're going to view the unit cell down one axis, and then describe the positions of the atoms that is relative to the projection plane. And if two atoms lie on top of one another, then both coordinates are given in brackets. All right, so let's look at fractional coordinates first on this slide, where I want to look at this atom here in the center. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so if we start at on this diagram on the right-hand side here, then we start at the origin, which is at the position zero, and we, we, we walk... Uh, half the distance um, along the a-axis to this position there. Then we walk half the distance along the b-axis to this position there, and then we walk half the position in the z-axis to that position there, and we are in the center of the unit cell. This position of this atom in the center of the unit cell has the fractional coordinates half, half, a half, which means that we have gone a half in the A direction, a half in the B direction, and a half in the Z direction. So we've got one half, one half, one half, and these, in the order that you see them here, is A, B, C the position along those crystallographic axes. Okay, <clears throat> so what about projection? Let's go to this diagram at the bottom here on the left, and we want to view the three-dimensional structure or the three-dimensional um, uh, unit cell that we see in, in diagram A at the top. We want to view down one of the axes. Now, it doesn't, like I said to you earlier, it doesn't matter which one, that you view it down, but let's view it down. Um, so if I put my eye this way, okay, this is my eyes, and I'm going to look along the direction of the arrow. This is what I'm going to see at the bottom left of the slide. I'm going to see 
uh, atoms that are positioned on four, all four corners. So this one here corresponds to this one here. This atom here corresponds to this atom here. This atom here corresponds to this one here. And this one corresponds to this one over here. All right. And of course, the one in the middle is the one that we have just determined the fractional coordinates of. Now, if this was the origin here, for example, this would be position zero. Okay. And now we want to look at this atom over here. We know we've gone one, a whole one unit up of the unit cell. So therefore, this atom that I've just drawn here with a very thick cross corresponds to this atom here. And that has position 0 and 1. 0 and 1. So there's an atom at position 0, and there's also an atom at position 1. Okay. Let's have a look at a primitive cubic cell, because it's probably the easiest to look at. Um, <clears throat> if we look at the bottom here, we start at the origin, which is over here, and we walk one whole uh, unit across to this position here. Okay, So this atom will have um, only moved in um, the A direction if we've moved one whole whole position away from the origin, but we haven't moved in the B, which is this direction, nor the C direction, which is that direction there. Okay, So that means the fractional coordinates for this atom here that I'm coloring in now is 1, 0, 0. Okay. So you should be able to determine the fractional atomic coordinates for other positions in the unit cell. Um, we can do that if you want to. Okay. At this position at the origin, we know that that position is 0, 0, 0, because we haven't moved anywhere. We've stood still. All right. Let's go up to this position here. Okay. We've gone nowhere in A. Nowhere in B, but we've moved one whole unit up in C. So that means we've gone nowhere in A, nowhere in B, but one whole position in C. All right. Let's look at this atom at the back of a cube here. We have gone um, <clears throat> nowhere in A. We're still no movement to the right. We've moved one whole position in B, and we've gone nowhere in C. So this one's fractional coordinates is 0, 1, 0. Okay. Um, we could do the other four. It's, it, we'll just have to have a look and see um, how we've done that. Okay. Let's do this one here. Okay. Um, we have gone nowhere in A. We have gone 1 in B. And we've gone 1 in C. So that means it's 0, 1, 1. <clears throat> Let's do this position here. Okay, we've gone um, 1 in A, nowhere in B, and 1 in C. So that is 1, 0, 1. Okay. Let's do the, the back position down the bottom here. We have gone from the origin, we have gone one position in A, one position in B, but nowhere in C. So that means that coordinate is 1, 1, 0. And lastly, if we do this one, this one should be relatively easy because we've moved from the origin, we've moved one position in A, one position in B, and one position in C. So this position here is 1, 1, 1. Now, guys, don't learn this, okay? Don't learn it by memory. Work it out, okay? So if I give you a cube in the, in the assessment and I tell you um, to, to give me the fractional coordinate positions, then um, you, you need to work it out. Start at the origin, okay? And pretend that you are able to walk in a specific direction. 
okay and then you you walk in that direction and you see whether you've moved in all three directions or only two directions or in no direction whatsoever okay so that's how we work out fractional atomic coordinates if we wanted to do a projection so say for example i wanted to look at this face okay this cubic face and i wanted to tell the position of the atoms okay i would put my eye like this and i'm looking into the face what do i see i see four uh, atoms okay along that face so i see one uh, two three and four and what else do i see i see that if i was to write the position of uh, atom number four in this case um, i only write a, a zero and a one okay so that's how we look at projection projection remember just means that it is um, looking at a specific face with two crystallographic axes um, down one one of the planes okay let's look at uh, the last one which is a little bit more tricky which is for a face face centered cube okay um, a face centered unit cell Remember that we have uh, atomic coordinates or positions on each of the corners of the cube. And then we have positions on the faces of the cube. Okay, so I'm not going to do the ones on the corners because we've already done those. Okay, what I want to do is I want to pick uh, one of the uh, faces. So let's pick... I'm trying to see which one they've done here. This one is this this I'll draw across on the screen. I want to look at that position. They give you the fractional coordinate. Remember, we start at the origin, the origin by the letter O, and we walk how far? We walk one half in A. Okay. And then <clears throat> do we go anywhere else? We don't go anywhere in C. Um uh, but we go a half in B. So the fractional coordinate position here is a half in A, a half in B, and nowhere in C. Okay, so that's for that atom there. Let's do this atom here. Okay, another cross. All right, I start at the origin. I walk exactly one half in A. I don't go anywhere in B, but I go one half in C. So this one's fractional coordinate here is, if I draw it, is a half, zero, a half. Now I want you to try the rest for yourself and populate just the ones that are in the faces. So the ones that you need to do is this one here. You need to do this one here, uh, this one here, and this one here. Okay, remember there are six faces to a cube. I've done two of the fractional coordinates on two of the faces for you. You need to try to do the other four. Um, and I will help you do this in class. All right. Now, what about if we view a projection? Well, in projection, have a look at the right-hand side of the slide. It's this diagram that I've just indicated here. And you will see that we don't see a normal cube, okay? So the corner atoms are the ones that I'm going to indicate now, okay? There's a corner atom here, 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 and here, okay? And then the faces, all right, the faces are the ones that you see here, 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 and here. And remember, in this position here, there are two of them because... They overlap. The one is at the top and one is underneath. Okay, so you 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 can then draw the projection for a face-centered unit uh, unit cell, face-centered cubic unit cell, um, exactly as I've shown it here. It doesn't look uh, like an ordinary projection that you would see because we're taking into account the fact that the atoms positioned on the faces are the ones that I have. Uh, circled. Um, I have posted under Unit 3 
uh, a very helpful video. Uh, so go to Blackboard and go to Unit 3 and scroll down to the bottom. There's roughly a six-minute video there of a very good description of fractional coordinates for you.